What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Glad you're here. Um, I'm excited about this one. I saw this pop up on my feed and I just had to react to it without even seeing it um, because it just fell right into my wheelhouse. Uh, I'm a southerner. I've been a southerner all my life. The son of a southerner uh, from a longstanding southern family. And um, it, it's a culture that I love. You know, we catch a lot of flack for a lot of different things. Um, but if you ever visit the South, like you're not going to find a prettier part of the country as far as, as far as I'm concerned, probably not a prettier place in the world from the low country to like the foothills of the mountains in North Georgia, you know, going through Tennessee, the Smokies and even the plains of Texas, which technically are kind of not Southern, but kind of at least East Texas is, <laughs> um, and I've lived in Texas, Arkansas, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, um, and just no matter where you go, like it's just it's just awesome, you know, from the Ozarks to the Gulf, like there's just nothing like it. But the one thing every Southerner loves uh, is a state fair, a county fair, any kind of fair. And um, when I saw that, uh, it's a Southern thing. The channel, uh, if you haven't seen it great channel i'll leave a link below uh they're doing things southerners say at the county fair and um i was like yeah i just got to react to this because i'm pretty sure i'm, I'm gonna know a lot of these sayings <laughs> i probably said them more than once or twice myself so we're gonna check this out and um see what's what hey if you like it jab the like button subscribe share most of all comment below let me know what you think of this if you got something you want me to check out and react to let me know i'd love to do it so here we go i love the smell of fairs popcorn cotton candy fried food poop oh no that's horse poop <laughs> oh oh don't step in it oh no now you gotta throw your shoes away i chose this fair specifically for the bubble cars they have a lack of seat belts and they get up to 30 miles per hour i've got pepto yep. pills, and pepsi complete I've been looking forward to this for months. That was my mom right there. My mom, she was a Yankee. So she knew if she was going to the fair, like she was going to be prepared. She always had something in her purse for, you know, toting four kids around. She always had something for us because she knew we were just going to overdo it for sure. The ticket situation is so complicated. You get seven ride tickets for the price of five if you bought them ahead of time for some elementary school kids. <laughs> you guys want to ride the Ferris wheel that's held together by rubber bands and Elmer's glue? Yep. Best ride there. I don't ride them anymore because I'm a little smarter now. But when I was a kid, shoot, even when I was in my 20s and 30s. Yeah, definitely riding those things, man. That's like it was because you felt like you were risking your life doing it. It was almost you were you were daring your friends and your friends were daring you to get on those rides. And some of them were pretty janky. <laughs> okay before we split up let's all agree to meet in front of the potato sack slide in one hour does everyone have enough cash there's my dad the nearest atm's like 10 miles away i usually get my boiled peanuts from jerry down at the stop and shop but this is the only place where they'll give them to you in a waffle cone <laughs> i never had them in a waffle cone that must be a new thing but boiled peanuts at a fair they're pretty good it Probably the only place you're going to find better boiled peanuts are on the side of the road at that guy that owns that uh, vegetable fruit stand. If you know that guy, if that's your hookup, you ain't going to find better peanut, boiled peanuts, I'll tell you that. But the fair, they got a pretty good look at them. You really want to go to the vendor's booth? It's just going to be some old guy selling patriotic wire art. Boring. <laughs> got some new rides this year. Got the neck breaker, body smasher. That one's just called death trap. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Do the corn dogs seem shorter to you this year? Yeah. Hold on. For sure. Those corn dogs, those corn dogs used to be that long, man. Those corn dogs used to be all day dogs. And now, you know, they used to use those foot long dogs. You got the, now they got these little wieners that like, they're almost like those little smokies, man. It's pathetic. And don't think Southerners don't walk around without a tape measure in their pocket either. Along right there with their pocket knife. You never know when you got to measure and cut. <laughs> never fall for that world's smallest horse crap. 
You don't need to wait in line for an hour and pay $45 just to see a geriatric pony. <laughs> yes, all the rides are supposed to sound like they're breaking. It's part of the experience. It's part of the charm. I think. Batter it, drop it in that oil, shove a big old stick in it, and take my money. That is pure South right there. If you've ever had a deep fried Twinkie or a deep fried Oreo or a deep fried Milky Way bar or a Hershey bar or a Snicker bar or deep fried butter or deep fried anything, you're welcome. The South gave you that. If we can stick a, if we can stick one of those uh, wood sticks in it and batter it and fry it, we're going to find a way to do it. Trust me, we'll do it. Even butter. I slip the kid operating this ride at 20. The bride won't stop until one of us pukes. <laughs> <laughs> My money's on John. What do y'all think they do with those leftover pies from the pie eating contest? Did they get them out? Yes, fried cheese. Nope. That's better. Yeah. I don't I don't like butter straight up like that, and that's exactly how I ate my first deep fried butter. Somebody tricked me into it. I think it was a cheese stick or something. It's gross. I'm not. I love all the other deep fried stuff, but man, I can't handle fried butter. That's just. I, nope. Yeah, all of these games are a scam. A scam that I will defeat. That Yoshi doll is coming home with me. That's where you lose your money. That's where. I, that's where I. That's where I always lose my money. That ring toss. That knock the. Take the baseball and knock down the milk. Bottles like the little thing you when you gotta fire that high speed BB gun to knock out that star and you can't leave any bit of that star on there. Oh, me and my brothers, somebody was somebody was taking something home. I guarantee it didn't matter how much we had to spend on it. <laughs> Please don't let anybody win a goldfish today. Those twenty trips back and forth in the pet store are not worth it. Hurry up and finish that cotton candy so we can get some supper. Now, do you want the turkey leg or the double fried chicken steak? That's not what you want, man. Everybody wants the turkey leg. That's fine. But I'm telling you right now, the best joint to eat at the country fair is that place that has the Philly cheesesteaks and the kielbasas. That big link roll, that little, ro that super roll of sausage just sitting there with a pile of onions, pile of peppers, mushrooms, just sitting there just waiting. And they just cut off a piece. Oh, man. Whew. That's good eating right there. Okay, if you're in line and you see a couple of teens making out, just cut them. They'll never notice. Trust me. Yep. He wants to take Granny home. She got her dentures stuck in the candied apples again. <laughs> Ooh, let's get a caricature made. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if that ride operator is 12 years old or 70. Don't you throw up that funnel cake. We waited in line 30 minutes and I paid $25 for that. Uh, yeah. You don't throw away the funnel cake, man. It'll go home. It'll be soggy and greasy and nasty when you get home, but you don't throw it away. That was good money on some good fake bread. <laughs> if, if I threw half that thing away, my wife would kill me. <laughs> That's it. That's it. This is good. This is good. No, no, no. This is fun. I'm good. I'm doing this over you. <laughs> I had too many cherry hand pies earlier. And those mean kids over there thought I was a clown. <laughs> Wait, does every ride here just go in circles over and over yeah. again? I don't think I can stand up straight. I don't remember hurting this much when we did this 25 years ago. Yeah. I can feel my lung collapsing. Yep. <laughs> It does You're look like him. Close enough. <laughs> uh, hilarious, man. I, I want to go to a fair now. Actually, I think the South Carolina State Fair starts in a couple weeks. It's October, and they're usually at the end of October. Um, good luck if they have a home game, because the, the fairgrounds in Columbia are across the street from Williams-Brice Stadium where the Gamecocks play. Whew. 
That's it. you're, you're going to spend hours in your vehicle getting in or out of there. I have done it and it is an all day affair. I assure you. So plan it accordingly, please. Um, but yeah, how true was that for you guys? I'm sure that that probably goes like beyond even the South. Like if, even if you're up like in Yankee territory, I'm sure you guys go to the fair and say pretty much the same stuff. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you say when you go to the fair. What do your friend? What do your parents say when you go to the fair? Because you know, <laughs> you know they're going to say the same thing every year. Um, anyway, do me a favor and jab that like button for me. Hit subscribe. Share this with your friends and your complete strangers. And definitely check out these other reaction videos for me. And uh, come back and we'll do it again. Love you guys. See you later.